My name is Jeremy Akwashi. I am a Ghanaian artist. I live and work in Accra. Um, what people know me for are my paintings that look so real. Some decide to call it hyper-realistic works. I do other forms of art too, but mainly, mainly artworks are on canvas. Basically, um, artists and the word activists is very close in nature and I think with the way creative people think, we, we always get to think beyond the normal and we always want to look at issues more critically and in the end when you do that, it raises a certain uh, uh, wake-up call for many people to begin to look at the things that they don't even see as important. Uh, and so I think it's only the nature of creative people to, to do work that tends to have a lot of activism uh, in it. It might be, perhaps for me, subconscious. It's important to depict um, Ghanaian life in my paintings because that is what is now. That is what um, I know, that's what I see, that's what everybody can associate with. Things that I really like to talk about in my work has to do with things that embody a lot of ironies and um, contradictions and such contradictions you find even in my current series which is yellow is the color of water um, these contradictions are found in the gallon the yellow gallon itself for some the gallon might be a symbol of um, failure because they expect that okay water is provided as a basic necessity at the same time for others it might also be a symbol of hope it might also be a symbol of intervention and um, solution because when there's a problem you want to solve it and people find solutions in these. For this series also when it comes to the issues of water, women are at the forefront of trying to find water. I mean women embodying a lot of strength, um, especially the African woman, looking at what they have to go through and how they have to work their roles and in a contemporary world where you are beginning to have I mean, different roles, the roles that men used to play now, women play some of those roles, like having a job and working from eight to five. At the same time, having children and caring for them and cooking in the house. Also, the people that I portray on the gallon and the way I portray them also talks about issues of uh, contemporary African life or Ghanaian life for that matter. And also talks about how I use portraiture, uh, which is kind of akin to uh, Western style portraiture, but then it's also a portraiture of people of a certain class, maybe the royal class or maybe the bourgeoisie. But these are everyday people, common people, um, putting them in that position, that heroic position, that regal nature begins to question all these issues of contrast and contradictions that exist in, in my country. If you're an artist in Ghana, you don't have support. So everything you do is coming from you, the support is coming from you. And so I think that also drives the kind of work we do. That's what also makes the work we do so strong because you're doing it by yourself. You need to cut corners, you need to find different ways of making sure you're able to get the thing done. And so those are challenges yeah, enough. Um, these days, people are beginning to pay attention to work that is being done in Africa by Africans and that is also helping the situation now. Um, but I think if you continue to do what you're doing and you do it well enough, people do get interested and people would want to, to have it. Obviously, it has become quite easier for my generation to actually bring people here to see art, especially with the advent of social media 
and electronic communication. You don't need to be somewhere in order for people to see what you're doing. Many people get to ask me whether I want to stay here or maybe move out. And um, when I say here, here might not necessarily be just Ghana. Here might, might be um, Togo, Nigeria. Um, but these are things I know and there's a lot of similarities in a number of African countries, especially the West African countries. Even though a country like Togo is uh, French, I happen to have grown on the border in Aflao, so I associate with people from that end quite much. I have been to Nigeria a couple of times and I like it there, even though it's, it's much more ragged and much more difficult there. But I also, to an, a large extent, enjoy life there. So um, for me here might be Africa, maybe specifically West Africa. I've not been to maybe a place like Senegal or Sierra Leone, but I'm sure I'll find a lot of similarities that I find in Ghana also there. So I might be able to work in any of these circumstances, um, taking out the idea of working out, working in the West. Uh, moving out might be like maybe telling me to stop doing art because um, I have been abroad to see how life is there and many people live in the delusion of okay abroad is better in many circles but I think the, what I find here is, is inspiring enough for me to keep staying here and even when you look at the cultural systems which is community based everybody is concerned about every other person I think it's, it's a very good hub for us as artists to become more creative um, but looking at the Western standards and uh, individualism and things of the sort, it, it might become quite difficult for one to produce work in that situation, especially having been there already. And to have come to associate with many other artists who also feel that it's important to stay here and work.